hello and welcome to my channel say hi to a happy day in this channel i would like to share tales and stories i personally picked and or my kids is a favorite book stories let's enjoy listening while i read to you disney pixar up night lights i see one I see one. Pull over, Mr. Fredrickson, Russell said. Carl swirled the station wagon to the side of the road. Is it a squirrel? asked Doug as he jumped out of the car. Even better, said Russell. According to the Wilderness Explorer Guide to Flora and Fauna, it's a Japanese morning glory. They were headed to Sylvan State Park to earn Russell's better botanist badge. He's first as a senior wilderness explorer. All he had to do was find and identify 10 varieties of wildflower. Only nine more to go, he said as he took a photo of the flower. We'd better get moving. Carl said. As they drove, Russell looked at the flowers in his field guide. Wow, this book has everything in it, he said. It has sunflowers, it has butterfly milkweed, it has purple wisteria. Does it have a ghost crocus? asked Carl with a sly smile. A what? asked Russell. A ghost crocus, said Carl. It's a legendary flower that blooms only at night. Pale as the moon, glows in the dark, with six silver petals and stars on its stamens. Brave explorers have looked for it for centuries. Most people don't think it exists, but Ellie swore she saw one once at the very park we're going to. Wow, said Russell. Then he frowned. I don't see it in the field guide. Like I said, most people don't think it exists, said Carl. When they reached the park, it was already mid-morning. It took a while to find their campsite and set up their tents. By the time they were ready to hike, it was midday. They spent the day searching for flowers in Russell's guide. By the time the sun was setting, they had found 10 varieties of wildflower. But Russell couldn't stop thinking about the ghost crocus. Please, Mr. Fredrickson, said Russell as they walked back to the campsite. Can we look for a ghost crocus? Sorry, said Carl. It's getting late. We have to get back to camp before dark. That night, they sang around the campfire and told each other ghost stories. And then they looked at the constellations. All right, it's getting very late. It's time for bed. Carl said, opening his tent. He had forgotten all about the ghost crocus. But Russell hadn't. He couldn't sleep knowing there was another flower he could find and identify. Hiking at night might be dangerous for a junior wilderness explorer, but Russell was a senior wilderness explorer. He knew he could handle it. Let's go, Doug, he whispered. We're going to go fetch something. I love fetching said Doug. The woods were a lot darker than Russell had expected. Maybe Mr. Fredrickson was right. It was getting very late. 
But then he spotted a soft glow. It seemed to be coming from the back of a cave. But he didn't see was the steep drop. Too late, he tumbled down into the mouth of the cave. Oh no, are you okay? said Doug. Doug didn't hear a response from the cave, so he ran back up to the campsite. Carl awoke to a wet tongue licking his face. Master, master, we were out in the dark looking for the ghost flower, and then he fell into the cave. What? cried Carl. Quick, quick, lead me to him. Down in the cave, everything went dark. At first, Russell felt alone and afraid, but then he remembered. He was a senior wilderness explorer. I can handle this, he said to himself. He stood up and saw a glimmer of light. It was coming from around the corner. Russell, someone cried. It was Carl. He had tied a rope to a tree and was lowering himself down into the cave. Look, cried Doug happily. I have fetched my master and brought him back. I'm sorry, Russell, said Carl. I shouldn't have told you that story about the ghost crocus. Honestly, I never believed it myself. Ellie always had a great imagination. Well, I found something anyway, said Russell with a sly smile. Well, I'll be, said Carl. The next morning, Russell dug and Carl packed up their things and headed back home. The wilderness explorers are going to be so excited, I found all the wild flowers plus one. Russell chattered away in the back seat. Thank you, Ellie, Carl whispered with a smile. The end. I hope you enjoy listening to Disney Pixar uh, Night Lights. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!